happy moving day! Basically, that intro did all of the explaining for you guys. Today is moving day. It is Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. I'm moving into Brown University. It's my sophomore year. Very excited. I have my sister here with me. A lot of my stuff in the back, but I have even more stuff in my dad's truck. So right now, I am driving down to go pick up my boyfriend from college. We're gonna bring him down to Brown with us because he's gonna help me move in. It is 8.43 a.m. right now. My key pickup is between 10.15 and 10.30. So I'm aiming to be on campus by then. And yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it, right? Um... As a brown student, you can go on the Ripta for free. With that 80k tuition, you can ride the public bus for free. To my freshman dorm. Yeah. Right there. Right there. We've made it to campus, and this is Grad Center right here. This is where my key pickup is. dorm. trash can. Closet's kind of small. It's the only thing. Um, but we'll make it work. Okay, now we're gonna head down and get the final load of stuff. <laughs> oh, God, I missed you. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Should we let the sorority? Yeah, the sorority bros. <laughs> Black and brown. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> Sweatshirts. <laughs> so we just hung up all my sweatshirts with the help of Will. Drew's working on my cart right now. shower thingy. It actually fit. I was really worried it wasn't going to, but it did. This is the shower curtain my mom helped me put up. And then my mom was in the midst of cleaning for me. So thank you, mom. Shout out, mom. Love you. Hello guys, it is like two days after move-in day. Cindy's here, she's in the process of moving in. This is our little setup. We got Drew with the tornado <laughs> fan. <laughs> and yeah, this is what we're doing. I moved a few things around, like I got a new little um, plastic organizer. And yeah, I got a few packages from the mailroom. I also got these clear plastic bins from Target. They're stackable. I also got these. They're like smaller versions of the bigger bins that I have. And I also got these from Target. I think I'm gonna put one of these under the sink though, because I feel like they'd be good for like bathroom products. 
is a Vornado. They're so good. We need a lot of fans in here because there's no, well, there is air conditioning, but they just decide to not turn it on. We're on the sixth floor, so it gets very hot up here. Air tag cases. It's a case at the stash of air tag closet. No. I have the air tags right here. And then I accidentally Amazon primed the cases to my P.O. box at school. So I had to wait till I got here to get them. And now we have them. I got a free bag from Thrive Cosmetics. I got their mascara and their waterproof eyeliner. That's pretty much it. The room is a work in progress, but we're getting there. Cindy's done a really great job moving in all of her stuff. I think that's it. Okay, bye. Love you guys. Hi, so it is way later in the day. As you can see, it is dark out, but right now I just wanted to sit down with you guys and read a letter. Basically, how my weekend went is I moved in on Saturday. I went home Sunday morning because it was my sister's birthday, sweet 16. So I went home Sunday and then I drove back to Brown Sunday night. And that's when I like officially left my family and said goodbye and everything. So it wasn't like a traditional, oh, you drop me off at school and then you say goodbye. I actually left my family instead of my family leaving me. Can't tell if it was better or worse, but that's how it went down. And in my car, they left me a letter they also gave me this little guy this little squishmallow i don't know what is up with me and stuffed animals but seriously one of my weak points i just have such a soft spot for stuffed animals it's like the inner child in me i don't think i'll ever get over it but who cares you know anyways i didn't want to read this until i was alone and this is the first time today that i've been alone and kind of had a chance to sit down and like read this and really appreciate it it's for my mom and my dad they left this in my car left a little squishmallow in my car and i'm gonna read it on camera with you guys i might cry i think i'm doing better i cried the entire way down to brown actually that's not true half the ride down around. I cried for a good hour, but we're doing a lot better now. I feel like the act of leaving is way harder than when I actually get here and I'm like living the lifestyle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's a little card I got. Oh, this is really cute. Okay, I'm tearing up, but no tears fell. They also gave me some gift cards. They gave me a Texas Roadhouse gift card because me and some of my friends have this like tradition where like for fun occasions we'll go to Texas Roadhouse together. They gave me a gift card there. They also gave me a Chipotle gift card and a CVS gift card because we have this street called Thayer Street which runs through the heart of campus and they have a CVS and a Chipotle on that street. So it's really easy to like get food, get little touch up things that you may need. So thank you mom and dad. You guys are the absolute best. Sorry, my voice is breaking up a little bit. Lots of emotions going on here, but overall feeling good. You know, it's like very much a bittersweet, but I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this year. It's gonna be a good year. First year was kind of rough, can't even lie. Just kind of struggling a bit in a lot of different departments, but doing good, very optimistic about this year, feeling more confident about how to approach it and everything, so good stuff. Um. Oh, guys, okay, it's so weird because so many people have like noticed me on campus and I just really do not consider myself anyone special. It's just bizarre. Like for example, when I was checking in and getting my room key on move-in day, one of the girls working the little table was like, oh my God, are you Julia? Like I watch your videos and I was like, wow, it's crazy. And then one encounter that I had today, which was like the sweetest thing ever, like actually really made me reflect a bit and be like, damn, like people actually watch my videos and like maybe get something positive out of them because this one girl stops me on the main green which is like the main plot of grass in our campus and she's like oh my god are you julia i watch your videos you're actually one of the main reasons why i committed to brown verbatim that was like a crazy encounter to me she was like yeah i just like i love your videos so much like i don't know it's just so weird to me and like so many of my friends have just been like, we've had people come up to us before and been like, do you know Julia? We watch her YouTube videos. That's so weird to me. But anyway, I feel like it just puts everything in a perspective, like how much I'm able to like connect with people through this platform, which is honestly one of the most powerful things and one of the things I'm the most grateful for. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this move in vlog. It was a lot of fun for me to just document the whole thing. I love watching move in vlogs. Even before I got to college, even before I got to high school, binge watched a bunch of move in vlogs. It was like my favorite hobby. But here I am on the other side of it. Now producing move-in vlogs and college content for you guys so very fun on both ends of the spectrum really hope you guys enjoyed this video i am going to try my very best to crank out as many videos as possible this school year while still remaining sane but i love you guys so much thank you for all of the love and support there will be a dorm tour video coming out sometime soon cindy and i are putting like the final touches on our dorm so that should be filmed edited and uploaded in the near future very excited and optimistic about this year if you guys are in school good luck you guys got it we got it and if you're not in school still hope you have a great rest 
rest of your year. We're gonna do great things. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay happy, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Okay, bye.